So I arrive in Tonga this morning and I get off the plane, I get in a cab, I go to my hotel and everything just feels off, something's really weird and I realize that nobody's outside, all the shops are closed, it almost felt like a ghost town and it was really eerie and I was in the taxi ride like thinking where am I, am I on Mars? Like nobody is around. I wondered if there was a natural disaster, or maybe someone important passed away and they are all in mourning. I'm walking down the main street here in the capital of Tonga and there is just nothing happening. It's so quiet out here. But after speaking with a few locals, I realized that today is Sunday and Tonga is the world's only country that actually doesn't open up on Sundays. On Sundays, everything's closed, right? Everything is closed. When the king of Tonga was baptized a Christian, he, he said he, he ruled that Sunday Everybody used to have their rest. It's okay. also part of the upbringing. You, you, you're brought up not to do anything on Sundays. It is illegal to work unless, of course, you work in a hospital or police station. So we're pulling up by the airport right now and it is completely closed. The airport is closed. You can get fined or even thrown in jail if you are seen working in public, as it is written in their constitution. You're not allowed to do any chores or play loud music. It's a day of rest. On Sundays, Tongans only do three things. Rotu, kai, mohe. We only go to church and we eat and we sleep. Tongans are quite religious people, similar to their Pacific Island neighbors. Over 97% of people here are Catholic and are strict churchgoers. You can find about three churches on every corner in this town, and the only sounds you can hear on the streets are church bells and prayers. I am walking out to the main church in town to attend one of the afternoon ceremonies. I haven't attended many church ceremonies around the world, but this one was pretty special to see so many people so involved. On my way back to the hotel, I was hungry for lunch, but there were literally no restaurants or shops open until Mustafa came to the rescue. So I met this guy Mustafa, he works at the hotel, and I told him that there's nowhere to eat lunch here because everything's closed. So he called up his mom and she just pulled up, she arrived and she brought us all this amazing local food. A big family, six yeah, children. Wow, you have six kids? Yeah. And I offered to pay and they wouldn't take any payment. So thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Okay, let's eat. All right, guys, I am back in my hotel room. As you can see, I'm very sunburned on my forehead from being outside all day in the sun. But anyways, it was a very interesting and strange experience here in Tonga. I wasn't expecting everything to be closed, but it was, and if you ever come here on Sunday, then you'll know what to expect. And traveling is not all about visiting amazing sites like Machu Picchu or the Eiffel Tower. It's about other things, and things that you wouldn't expect so much, which is exactly what I experienced today. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.